welcome back to another Labu printer tutorial where today I'm going to show you how you can do some basic troubleshooting with your Epson kitchen or receipt printers. This will cover a number of issues that we've seen in the past like random letters and numbers printing, error messages on the POS, network issues, and a bit more. Of course, if you reach the end of this video and you are still having issues with your printers, please reach out to our 24-7 customer support team. All right, let's get started. Whenever we see an issue with one of our printers, we should cover the absolute basics first. Start by checking that all the cables going into the printer are securely connected and that the printer is powered on. Next, check to see if there are any error lights blinking on the printer. Some of these error lights could indicate something as simple as a paper jam to something more complex that would require a service technician to resolve. Because there's no screen on these printers, Epson printers use blinking error codes to communicate their issues. So if it looks like your printer's error light is blinking in a specific pattern, you can check the list here to see if you have a more serious problem with your printer. So, assuming that we've checked the basics like power, paper, and error lights, one of the simplest steps we can take for a receipt printer is simply to reselect the register in the POS. Navigate to your functions, then register functions, and at the very top we should see select register. This tells your POS which receipt printer it should print to and which cache drawer it should open. So not only can this help with general issues with your receipt printer, but if you notice your POS opening the wrong cache drawer, go through these steps to fix that as well. Now while we're in the POS, another area we should familiarize ourselves with is printer setup in settings. Now this page gives us a lot to work with, but I'm going to keep this pretty simple. If you notice a specific printer isn't working, you can come here, select which kind of printer isn't working, and you will see a list of all the printer profiles in your control panel. On the right is a test button, and if your printer is connected and Lavu can see it, it will be green. Now, the second printer I have is grayed out, and that would be because Lavu can't see it. So this would be a printer that isn't working. Now, what I can do from this page is tap on the green add button here, and this page will show me all printers that Lavu can see. Basically, the point of sale is always looking for printers on your network to connect to and this page shows us those results. We can see here there is an unassigned printer, so let's just test to see if it comes out of the printer that isn't working, and there it is. So what's happening here is an IP address conflict, where the printer has one address, but we've told Lavu in our control panel a different one. Check out our other tutorial videos to see how you can set a static IP address to your printers so that this doesn't happen in the future. Alternatively, you could just go into the control panel and keep updating the IP address whenever it changes. While not ideal, this can certainly work in a pinch. Now let's look at another common scenario we see when printers aren't working. This usually happens when an iPad can't print to any of your printers. Now it's highly unlikely that all of your printers just stopped working all at once. So the first thing we should check is which Wi-Fi network your iPad is connected to. Find your iPad's Wi-Fi settings. You will likely have a restaurant network and then another network for your guests to use. If your iPad is on your guest network, you won't be able to print at all. So simply jump back onto your restaurant's Wi-Fi network and maybe forget your guest network while you're here so that this doesn't happen again. Next up, a more rare issue that can happen with your printer is when it starts printing random letters and numbers whenever you try to send a kitchen ticket or a receipt. This doesn't happen very often, but it can be annoying to say the least. Luckily, there's an easy fix. Start by turning off your printer. Now, hold down the feed button, and while holding it down, turn the printer back on. Keep holding the feed button until it prints out a long piece of paper. What we've done here is put our printer into recovery mode, and by doing that, we've essentially fixed the issue. We just need to take it out of recovery mode now so that we can start using it like a normal printer again. To do this, just tap the feed button once and you should get a message that says complete. You can also turn the printer off and back on again to get out of recovery mode. The last thing we're going to look at in this video is a free tool from Epson that you can use to manage your printers and even troubleshoot them. This tool is called Epson Net Config. Once installed and opened up, Epson Netconfig will start scanning your network for any Epson branded printers, very similar to what we saw the POS doing earlier in this video. This is the definitive way you can tell if your printer is connected to your network or not. If it's not appearing on this list, there's either something wrong with the printer or the ethernet cable. 
Now, it could just be as simple as the printer is turned off or the cable has come loose, so remember to check those basics we talked about at the top of this video. Not only will this tool let you see your printer on your network, it will even give you an IP address and allow you to set a static address. If you've watched the video on setting up an Epson printer, these next steps will seem very familiar. Double click on any of these printers and enter the serial number as the password. Now on the left, we can click on basic under TCP slash IP, and this will allow us to set a static IP address. This tool offers a faster and more convenient way to obtain and change your printer's IP addresses for LAVU. We hope you found this video helpful and that if you were experiencing any problems with your Epson printer, you are able to resolve them. Check out our YouTube channel for more tutorials about your printers, and if you have any other questions, please reach out to our 24-7 customer support team.